We have a stair with a floor-to-floor -floor dimension of 9 feet 8 inches. The maximum rise, according to the code, is 7 inches. The tread width is 11 inches. With these knowns, we can solve this stair design. To begin with, we must divide the 7-inch maximum riser into the floor-to-floor -floor dimension to find the number of risers. With the calculator turned on, we enter the 9-foot 8-inch floor-to-floor dimension. Let's store this in memory for later use. Now divide it by 7 inches, which is the maximum riser we want. So we can see we will need 17 risers for our stair. Go back to the FIS mode. Now recall the 9 foot 8 inches that we stored in memory and divide it by 17 to find the actual riser dimension. Divide by the number of treads, that being 17. This is our actual riser, but we need to see if there is a remainder to be allowed for. This is done by pressing the invert key, then the divide key. So there is a 3 16th remainder to be made up in the 17 risers. Since we have 17 total risers, there will be 16 treads. There is always one less tread than there are risers. This is because the first or bottom riser must be subtracted from the total risers in order to calculate the stair. So to find the stair run dimension, we multiply the tread width, which is 11 inches, by the number of treads, which is 16. Enter 11 inches. Multiply by 16 spaces equals, this is our stair run, so let's enter it in the triangle run. This is our dimension A. To get the rise, which is dimension B, we need to recall the stored 9 feet 8 inch total rise and subtract the bottom riser, which is 6 and 13 sixteenths, minus the bottom riser, Enter this in the rise. We can now get the pitch for the stair by pressing the pitch key. We can also get the overall slope, which is dimension C, by pressing the slope key. This is dimension C. To find the nose-to-nose -nose spacing, we divide this dimension C by the number of treads, which is 16. This is our nose-to-nose -nose dimension. To find out if there is a remainder to be made up, again we press the invert key and then the divide key. So there is a 1 8 inch remainder to be made up in the 16 spaces. The stair is solved. Using the triangle keys and the circle functions, even spiral and circular stairs can be calculated fast and easy.